A lot of the programming that went in for self-driving cars in the early days was through the idea of building these in, in tracks with confined white lines with very simple and, and, and really, really minuscule constraints. And then when you apply that, was, that to a real world, you know, there's <laughs> every grain of sand is a new adaptation. And I was designing yeah. a forward-looking infrared system for those. Exactly. And that forward-looking infrared system was constantly failing because we got a different type of rock come up or a different exactly. bit of sand or snow or whatever. When we were testing things with rain, when I say testing, we wasn't even sitting on a car. We are sitting in a, in a glass box in a lab and, and I couldn't, you know, we said we had an enormously difficult time and I had a stack of, uh, of computers running, running the analysis to get the, the time down fast enough so we could react to it. But yeah, it was, yeah. I mean, it's much different to put something in the lab versus out in the wild. I'm <laughs> sorry.